Those who do nothing are inviting shame as well as violence. Those who act boldly are recognizing right as well as reality. Hey YouTube, back with another video. Uh, this is going to be a basic uh, tabletop, not really so much a review. I haven't done enough work with this thing yet to do a review. But as you can uh, tell by the title, this is a review on the uh, Gerber Bear Grylls Edition Parang Machete. Uh, I did some minor cutting. Uh, came in fairly sharp. Um, I didn't get any footage of the chopping and the cutting that I did in my backyard because of the uh, rain. I didn't want to fuck my camera up because uh, it's already fucked up. But um, basically... I went through some one inch branches, took a few chops to get through it, uh, but a lot of the stuff, we've had a lot of rain, so a lot of the stuff back there is just like soaking wet, and there's like a lot of give. So you go to hit it and it bends, you know, it can't really make a good striking contact, it's not real stiff, it's real soft. Uh, so you strike it and it bends, instead of like actually getting a good solid surface to chop through it. Uh, once I laid it on some firmer ground on uh, some of the stone back there chopped right through but um, like I said I haven't done enough to really get a review down but I'll do a quick tabletop um, I know I was curious about it I watched a lot of reviews online uh, read a lot of reviews and uh, actually found this for a great deal so I couldn't let it uh, slip through my hands um, and I needed to pick it up. I uh, was looking for a machete, nothing too big, something real small. I don't have a lot of property or a lot of big things I need to work my way through. I just needed something small to uh, do like a small backyard and uh, get rid of some stuff in the front yard and you know basic stuff, nothing too major. And this is what I decided on. Uh, again it's the Gerber Bear Grylls Edition Parang style machete. Um, Let's get this um, viewfinder here so I can see where I'm at. Uh, like all Bear Grylls stuff, it comes with the proprietary, uh, and it didn't come in this little slot here. I stuck mine in there. Uh, priorities of Survival uh, booklet here. Um, We'll start with the sheath first. Uh, the sheath has a, a Velcro or hook and loop uh, closure here. Then it has one snap, two snap. It has two snaps with a strip of hook and loop in between the two. So you get a, a really good solid uh, hole in there. It's not a lot of movement or wiggle room at all. Uh, there's, it's, uh, before I forget, it is hard plastic lined, so, uh, it's a very thick Kodora, uh, sheath on the outside. There is some padding between the, uh, plastic insert and the outer Kodora. Um, I like, a lot of guys bitching on about Bear Grylls and Gerber, um, I'm not a huge fan either. But for what it is and what I spent on it, um, I think it was a good deal. A lot of um, another thing a lot of guys uh, bitch and moan about is how Bear Grylls' stuff has this orange all over it. I think it's good. Um, you put it down somewhere, uh, or you drop it in high grass or something, you can't find it. That orange is going to stand out. You're going to be able to find this, and it's not an excessive amount of orange, but just enough. Um, Sheath is excellent, uh, excellent lockup and retention. Really, almost, almost no movement. Uh, feels very safe. It doesn't feel like it's going to come out at all. It does have a belt loop attachment in the back. Only thing I can complain about, um, it's stitched down very well. It feels very sturdy and strong. Is that it's not a very big uh, belt loop. A lot of them have the uh, two inch belt loop. This is a one inch, maybe. Uh, 
somewhere between one and one and a half inch belt loop. It's not a huge belt loop, but it's not a huge issue either. Um, also, depending on what you're using it for, it's not a huge deal, but stitched to the uh, back of the sheath is uh, signaling. Uh, if you're out in the wilderness, you get lost, uh, signaling planes and ships and such um, to let them know what exactly uh, may be going on with you. Um, need it, don't need it, uh, it's there. Um, but a very good sheath, like I said, very heavy duty uh, ballistic Adora um, that uh, plastic lining, which is very good. Uh, it's a lot thicker than some of the other ones that I've seen. Uh, padded on the outside, so it's very comfortable. And it's not much, and it's very stiff. Uh, so it's not one of those real flimsy ones, as you can see. You know, it's not, like, going to bend in half unless you purposely do it. Uh, it fits um, perfectly to the parang, so it's uh, no excess size. It's very light, so it doesn't add to it, which is good because the parang itself has some heft to it, uh, which is another reason why I wanted it. Now, to the machete itself... Um, the uh, orange part here is a hard, uh, I'm assuming polyurethane, that's what it feels like, um, plastic, all the oranges, even the letter in here. Now this gray here that you see is a rubberized, um, it's like a rubbery grip type of plastic, which grips your hand very well. It has um, decorative texturing, as you can see in the stripes in these lines here and they're actually I don't know if you can hear it but they're actually pretty thick so it grips your hand pretty well also for safety you do have a wrist lanyard and this is actually a very good lanyard I've seen a lot of knives and uh, machetes and, and they come with very cheap lanyards uh, there's two ways you can use it you can put it on your wrist and this way you don't accidentally let it go flying or you can use it where you put it over the handle like this and uh, use it like a guard and it actually grips your hand. I mean there's still a lot of room but I have pretty small hands. Some, a guy with larger hands it would actually grip your hand fairly well and lock it in there. Um, so I do like that. Uh, it, it does have a fairly um, let me see if we can get that there. Come on, focus, focus, focus. Fairly thick spine on it. Uh, I believe it's just over a quarter inch. I um, think it's uh, something like nine sixteenths. Don't quote me on this. I'm not. I don't have the facts in front of me, and I should have been more prepared for this video. But it's it's definitely uh, over a quarter of an inch. So it wouldn't be 9 sixteenths. What am I talking about? That's over a half an inch. <laughs> um, I think it's about 5 sixteenths is what I'm trying to say. Um, but it's, it's, it's definitely nice spine. I did some patoning when it. It went straight through, no problem. Um, didn't even mark up the uh, spine of it at all. Uh, there was one point where, because it is softer wood, I wanted to see could I just baton it with my hands. And I pushed most of the way and just tapping with the... Uh, the ball of my hand, it it pretty much went straight through. Uh, fairly decent edge when you get it. Uh, nothing to write home about, uh, but very few machetes can you just like shave with. Actually, I did get some hair off earlier, and I don't know if I'll be able to do it now that I want to on camera. But uh, we can try. Yeah, there's a few, but uh, but definitely sharp. Definitely will serve uh, a machete's purpose. The, the uh, shape of the blade of the Parang is another reason why I wanted it. It's very curved um, with a heavy front here. So a lot of the weight, you don't have to do a whole lot of uh, exertive uh, chopping. You don't have to waste a lot of energy. There's a lot of weight up front, so basic movement will carry it forward and it will do a good uh, a good chopping motion. I, I like to refer to like a lot of those pirate swords. Um, and uh, and uh, Roman swords where they're very uh, front heavy so very minor swinging 
and the weight will carry it straight through. Uh, it does have the uh, Gerber Bear Grylls uh, logo uh, laser etched into the blade. Um, as you can see, I did some minor chopping and some of this protective coating is wearing off, but it has a nice, uh, nice amount of edge. Um, the grind is good on this so that you know even if you have to sharpen it and over the years it wears down it wears down it's going to take a while before you get to this protective coating here um, where you're going to be exposing the steel which by the way is a uh, high carbon steel so you do want to take care of this thing you don't want to leave it out in the rain as you can see there's a little sheen on there um, after I brought it in like I said a lot of the stuff I was chopping was wet so I brought it in, I wiped down, got it dry, uh, put a light coat of oil on there, um, but because it's new, it looks like a lot more oil than what it is. It's just a, a new blade, so it definitely has a lot of sheen to it. But uh, again, I didn't do a lot of chopping, but I think it held up. I don't, I mean, it still looks fairly fresh out of the package, and I did chop, like I said, a couple of uh, one to two inch branches a few of them and I chopped them I'd say eight feet long down into two foot sections uh, did some batoning and it looks brand new um, I'm happy with my purchase I think it's good uh, a lot of places you're gonna shop and find this parang it's gonna retail anywhere from 40 to 50 I've even some seen some places have the nerve to charge 60 for it uh, 40 45 is about average 40 to 50 is average. Um, I actually found this online and you gotta hunt and you gotta, and you gotta search but I found this one free shipping 27 bucks. It was like $26 and change. Uh, I'll round it up to 26 buck, uh, 27 bucks. So 27 bucks free shipping. So um, you figure if you bought it from the store that's about 25 bucks with tax, 24 bucks with tax, which is half of what it goes for on average in the stores and other online websites. I couldn't pass this up. Um, again, this is not a full review, quick tabletop introducing uh, the newest member of the family. Um, the more work I do with it, I will put up reviews um, and I will be honest whether I love it or hate it, I will tell you guys. Um, but uh, the more work I put in, I'll be able to give you a more honest opinion of it. Um, just as a tabletop review, I think it's a fantastic blade. Um, feels very comfortable. Um, I have short fingers. I have a normal size hand with short fingers. I don't know if that shows up on camera. So it makes it difficult to find uh, pistols, rifles, knives, so on and so forth that are comfortable in the hand. And this fits very comfortable. And as you can see, even though there's a lot of extra room in the handle, it's still very comfortable. So somebody even with a bigger hand, this you have more than enough room. I There's plenty of room here for a guy with a bigger hand. Um, you can see that the blade doesn't start all the way back. So if you wanted to do some finer work like shaving uh, wood off for tinder, that would be good. You could choke up on the blade and uh, be able to do that without having to have your hand so wide out and flip and flop you get better blade control but um there's a lot of reasons that i bought it there's a lot of videos online uh that show cutting and chopping there's a lot of videos of people that love this there's a lot of people uh videos of people that don't like this at all um but basically this is just my tabletop until i actually do some work with it myself all i can give you is my initial opinion and observations um, but like I said, as I work with it more, I will probably do an update review video on this sometime in the future and let you guys know how much I love it, how much I hate it, or whether I'm just middle of the road with it. But um, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned. There will be plenty more videos to come. Subscribers, thanks for subscribing. Uh, thanks for following me. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Like I said, there are plenty more videos to come. Um, and if you go through my videos, you'll see I've done uh, videos on tools, survival kits, uh, knives, multi-tools, guns, watches, ammo. So there's a little bit of everything out there. Um, I'm sure you'll find something that catches your attention. But uh, like I said, subscribers, thanks for subscri subscribing. Uh, if you haven't done so, please subscribe. Stay tuned for more. 
and uh, just have a great, great day, guys. Thanks a lot.